Ik hou van jou. Ik moet live now. Welcome. This is the first week of April. Happy birthdays to all you Aries. Happy birthday. Okay. I'm trying to find my ad sets. I can't find my ad sets, but we're still going to go on with the readings. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what, looking for my headsets, didn't find them. So, anywhere, let's go and see what's happening for you, Aries birthday people. Okay, so the week is beginning from the first. The week is beginning from the first of uh, April until um, the seventh of April. Okay, again, you know, guys, it is. Wow. So overall, I'm seeing that it's going to be a good year, whatever the situation is, whatever is transpired. It's uh, really going to be a good year for you guys. Okay. What we're seeing is that your spirit guides trust in your the universal angels and guides. Your spirit guides are going to be there to so trust in the universal angels and guides because they're going to be there for you. And the situation with the organization and your financial stability is going to be um, um there is a people that is going to be affecting your financial ability but um you know you're going to be overcoming these things it's going to come to an end and you're going to be coming out of the situations okay so um um you know it's it's it's, it's going to be a, um challenges that you guys are going to be having in this year because this is for the people who are born the first of april until um the second uh the seventh of april and it's going to be very challenging you have the energy of uh, the devil the devil is uh, the supporting energy for you guys it's going to be challenging but not not to worry you're going to be over it okay so i'm going to check out to see what is happening to each and every person um what the situation what the energies is going to be coming out for each and every person which is um really good okay all right you are having a strong foundation whatever the situation is you're having a strong foundation some of you I'm gonna give another little mini readings after this, so I hope, I really hope. So for the people on the first of April who are having birthdays, um, this is a year of you showing who you are, and this is going to be good because it's as if your angels and guides are going to be coming down and protecting you and moving you forward in positive energy and positive ways and good places and good things. So this is going to be positive. It's going to be really a positive year. Ladies, 45 years and older, it is going to be, um, you have to find your inner wisdom, inner guidance, uh, how to deal with a financial situation. But um, what is going to happen is that you're going to be okay. Um, it's as if your angels and guides is going to be orchestrating and you're orchestrating things beyond your wildest dream and control. And this is going to be good. So not to worry what is happening because this year is as if this year is going to teach you in the strength and to believe in the wisdom of the universe. So that is good for the people who are having birthday on the first. For the people who are having birthday on the second, you are dealing with an organization, the Air Fund. 
So you're going to be dealing with groups of people, whatever the situation is, whatever that is transpiring, you're definitely dealing with a group of people. Now I'm seeing you having a strong foundation. Um, you're building strong foundation. Some of you could be building your house. Some of you um, could be deciding to buy your a new house. Some of you are definitely going to be standing your grounds and you have a good foundation against the queen of pentacles. So some of you are dealing with a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person and you are going to be standing your grounds against this person and you have a very strong foundation against this person. Whoever this person is, um, it's as if um, they have no strong old nothing and what is transpiring is that they you're going to be taking them down and the organization is going to take them down so some of you were dealing with a young lady um so if you were born on the second of uh, on the second of april um and this came out the, the lady and the organization this came out so for the people who were born on the 2nd of April now there could be a lady who has or you're going to be dealing with the the, the energy of the, the the hurt people and they're going to be standing against you and they're going to be having strong foundations so it could be a child it could be a sister it could be a family member whoever these people are and these situation are they are coming up in this year and it's as if um you're standing um this the foundation whoever this person is it could be someone who you had a situation with a house with and are um you have you know you and this person have come in alignment it can be a family member it can be someone at the workplace but whatever the situation is is that the other person have a strong foundation but somehow things are going to be resolving happy birthday to the people who were born on the 3rd of april um this year is going to be a year of financial abundance it's going to be a year where you're going to be nurture or you're going to be the one who's nurturing others this is really um going to be a fantastic year because whatever the situation is and was you're going to be seeing that uh, um, some of you could be dealing with um, some legal issue um, uh, people legal issue police and that sort of a thing could be coming out but you know you are not worried because you're standing and you're sitting pretty and you're standing well because if you look at this it's as if you know you're in paradise this year is going to make you feel better than you have ever felt before now um, you could be also dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius okay be aware of this person and send your guard to this person because whoever these people and situation is send your guard against them um, because they're not coming from a good place so be aware of that so if you were born on the 3rd of March the year is going to be a very positive year with your financial abundance but these people are coming in but you know don't worry about these people because this is whatever they come up with and whatever all they did they fall they themselves fall in these holes okay now for the people who were born on the fort you have the energy of transition someone could be passing away in your life whatever is transpiring in this year someone very close could be passing away from your life um you could be ending a cycle or a situation that you have been going through and you're you know you're cutting away the um, the BS and you're moving away from whatever the situation that is transpiring and happening around you so you are having transformation coming in in this year and the transformation is going to be good because you're going to be finding in a strength and seeing the truth of a situation you're going to be really finding innocent and seeing the truth of the situation and seeing the lies and injustice that has taken place but not only that you could be seeing your shadow side of who you are and how you deal with things and how these this these situation is going to be aligning you um, in a positive way some of you could be buying a car or if you're thinking about buying a car or changing your car it's going to be a good year to do that now the energy of the Emperor 
um, comes up for the people who were born on the fifth, it's going to be a very, very good year, especially if you have a few people, if you guys have um, a situation like as if you have a business or that sort of a thing, you're going to be very, very, if you're a young person and you have a business and that sort of a thing, um, you're going to be very successful. Your enemies are going to be, finally, you're going to be releasing from the enemies and the negative people around you. Finally, it's going to be ending. So that is good for the people who were born on the 5th. The people who were born on the sixth, a good, good year, especially with financial abundance, whatever um, uh, regrets you have in the past and that sort of a thing, um, this is going to be good. It's going to be a good year. Your regrets are over. You're going to be, um, your financial um, situation is going to be getting much better and you're going to be coming up and, and, and really vibrating in a really, really um, positive, positive energy vibration and that sort of a thing so um, for the people who were born on the six is a really a positive year that is coming in alignment for the people who were born on the seven is a year of taking time finding in the in a piece and thinking how to deal with someone who is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra this could be also um, people in power or legal issues or um, police and that sort of energy that is coming in but whatever is transpiring you ladies you got to be careful young ladies 45 years and older you better 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 be careful because you guys in this year um, if there was a situation that you have done something injustice to someone else it's going to be working out this year that you are going to be caught up on so you ladies 45 years and older um, I'm seeing the energy here because you you realize what you have done and now you're realizing oh my gosh uh, I wish I hadn't done that so ladies um, um, yeah between the ages of 18 and 45 um, you got to be aware of this year because this year is going to affect most of you for the rest of you it's gonna be okay it's gonna be time when you're using the energy to communicate more clearly I'm not pushing against whatever is happening around you just letting things go by and accepting things as they are this year is all about uh, for you guys it's overcoming situations uh, some of you definitely are going to be dealing with police and that sort of a situation and uh, um, you know you're gonna be seeing the truth to a situation you know it's as if finally you understand something that has been happening and transpired finally finally whatever that has been happening and transpired you're seeing this is coming out so for you guys in this year is um a lot of you are going to be dealing with the air sign people which is your twin flame and what is so weird about you guys in this year there is nothing coming up about love just absolutely nothing coming up about love which is what was very strange about the spirit they read in absolutely nothing is here about love it's all about you working to find inner strength you are trying to um you know balance out your own emotional in however way you can do that um the people who are going to be having really a wonderful year is the people who were born the first the third and the sixth um the fifth oak and the six for the rest of you is really going to be a year that you have to look back and look at yourself and try to understand what is it that has been happening and why this has been happening okay so it, you're going to be asking yourself did i create the situation or why do people are so against you know whatever is happening to you so it's just a year of emotional cleansing for some people and cleansing with others okay so card one and card two choose one of these cards and if you choose card one they're asking you to be patient so some of you really really in this year is going to be needing some patient and what is going to be happening is that the Virgos are going to be coming in to grant you this and recuperate in this year so some of you definitely definitely need to rest and recuperate maybe you find yourself 
um, having less to do or that sort of a thing. But it is when the angels and guides want you to stop, to, to, to just take a break, take a break. And this is all they're saying, stop and take a break, okay? Just like tomorrow, I'm definitely going to take a break because I've been going, <sighs> but I got the monthly readings out and that is good. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a good year. I want to say namaste until next time.